Guys, appreciate you coming and want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I appreciate our students being here and all the fans today. Um, I thought we, you know, had two good practices, quite honestly, and we had and we played that way today. So, you know, just pleased. Good efforts. Our defense was, I thought, really good. This is a very dangerous team. Picked third in that league with a great point guard. So, uh, you know, if you watch the Providence game, you know, obviously I was very concerned with this game, but our approach was good. We're down a couple guys, but these guys all got opportunities to play. Cam, uh, and, you know, continues to, I don't know, does he lead the nation now in steals or something? Like, continues to do a lot of good things for us. Wolf got a career high today. He's getting better and better, but everyone contributed. Cliff, you know, gave us unbelievable minutes, but, you know, Jalen Miller came in and did what he had to do. So, you know, a lot, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good play by a lot of guys and liked our energy for 40. Steve, uh, looked like a totally different team coming out of the gate tonight compared to Friday. What did these guys learn about playing without Caleb and Paul that you think helped them turn the corner tonight? Well, I, I mean, what they really did was they were locked in on both ends of the floor. They were really passing the ball. Obviously, um, you know, you learn a lot from, from those games that you don't play as well in. Uh, now, we played great 20 minutes in the second half of the Temple game, but that's a 40-minute game. I thought today we had a 40-minute game. They played hard till the, till the end. and. Um, you know, we're getting a lot of guys' minutes, and some guys are playing different roles than they probably had in the past. So there's a lot more to learn. We've got to keep getting better. But, you know, I've, I've liked this group, and they've been connected and showed today. You mentioned uh, Antoine career high, eight points, nine rebounds. How encouraging it to see, is it to see him grow game by game and to be able to develop into? Yeah, he's a good player. He's a good player. I'm really excited about him. I mean, he's first of all, he's a worker. He's coachable. Um, he's got great feet. I mean, he can guard anybody. He's got great hands. Um, I think his best basketball is ahead of him, too. So he keeps on working and keeps doing what he needs to do. He's going to be a really good player for us. Uh, what did this kind of show you about this team bouncing back and, and going through the last few days of practice after the loss? Yeah, I mean, important. You know, it's how you get off the mat. And, uh, you know, these guys, you know, practiced like they, they didn't like the taste of, of losing. I certainly didn't. And, uh, you know, we, we got a chance, but, you know, we have to just keep getting better in a lot of areas, and guys got to understand, you know, their minutes and, and, and how important every minute is at the college level, you know, and, uh, you know, but but they're doing what they need to do, and, and we got to get our, you know, two guys back and healthy, and that, you know, um, that'll be a big, big addition, too, to us, but these guys got to keep growing. On the injury front, how are uh, Paul and Caleb looking, and how far along are they from coming back? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I said this before, so I, I, I think they're close, but that, that's what I said before. So I'm the, you know, hopefully soon, you know, but when they're when they're ready to play, they'll say they're ready to play, and and, and we'll go from there. So, Jerry. Just a little bit off the track. This was a big night for a couple of Rutgers alumni. Geo Baker, uh, I, you probably interviewed you afterwards. <laughs> He's on the radio broadcast, and Austin Johnson got the call to be the BTN analyst. Yeah. Uh, what's it, what does it mean for Rutgers to have two former mm. players, you know, moving into broadcasting roles like this? I, I mean, first of all, I love it. I'm excited. You know, for both of them, they're uh, they're great role models for our players too. You know, they they do things the right way. They're and they kind of attacked their job today, like Gio was preparing, you know, and then, uh, you know, those guys really uh, put some time in. I'm glad they got that opportunity. They're both, you know, you know special people and big parts of our program here. So uh, I'm excited, and I'm excited to listen to the broadcast and have one of our own on it. What was it like being interviewed by Gio? Did he get you after the game? Well, Gio was smart. You know, he said, I wouldn't want to interview you after a loss, Coach. And I said, yeah. Um, but, you know, he, he, he was great. And uh, I think he'll be really good. He'll be really good. And, and he's been just a great ambassador to Rutgers Athletics. Coach, what did you think about the defense you played against Ryder, holding them at 25%? And specifically, you mentioned Murray. Uh, he worked for his 17 points uh -huh. tonight. He's he's really good, and he was a huge emphasis for us. He, he's really efficient. He had 30 in the last game. He's playing at a high level, and and they're an older group of guys. They've been through a lot. Um, they, you know, they beat Iona last year in, in the MAC tournament, and then they go to Providence, and they have the ball to win it, you know, at the end. So uh, 
you know, they're a veteran group. I thought we were locked in. I thought we did a good job defending three-point land. I thought we made his, you know, his touches hard, even though he scored, I think he still scored 17 points. He had to really, he had to really work at it. And, and for him to have four turnovers, that's not, you know, usual. So uh, our length showed up. I thought we were physical and um, we were, uh, you know, well prepared, obviously with a couple of days to play. <coughs> One for Cam. Cam, what, what is the secret to getting in the passing lanes and being just so disruptive with these steals? Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of film with the coaches and just emphasizing being in our gaps. Um, you know, the, the ball will come to you sometimes if you have your hands out and are active. Um, and just being in the right position is really a lot of it. So that's just kind of what I've been focusing are on. Are you seeing things on film that you're able to anticipate in the game when you see it unfold? I try to. I mean, that's the idea, right? You want to anticipate what what's coming, so you can be a step ahead. So yeah, that that's a part of it. Steve Cliff scored the first seven points out of the break in the second half. It seemed like he was really active. Um, was there an emphasis to get him the ball at the start of the second half? Did you challenge him at all? Just what what made him? I mean, I, I think you know everyone's he's averaging I don't know 17 you know shots per game and getting to the foul line a hundred times. So every game when when you have a player like him, you're trying to get him the ball. But I will also tell everyone here like the other team spends a lot of time you know not allowing him to get the ball so it's it's always a, a battle uh, of the other team's prep and and our prep and, and the work that Cliff does so there's a lot that goes into it um, but yeah we always want to pass and he's a good passer too so he'll share the ball too um, down down in the post but yeah he was you know he had some plays today that were you know dominant but we, we got him when he was open and we found him at times in transition and he was able to do a good job, but you know you always got to give the other team credit sometimes because they spend two days trying to make sure he doesn't get touches. Sure. Mm -hmm. Antoine, welcome to the interview room. Uh, this the stat your coach is going to like the most is four offensive rebounds. How is, how do you position yourself, and how much is it is offensive rebounding? Like blocking someone on the edge in football as a tight end. Uh, um, totally different disciplines. Uh, it's kind of similar. Uh, just being the first to attack first, like contact body to body. Um, just crashing the glass. Coach has been on me about crashing the glass because I haven't been getting that many offensive rebounds. So this game, I just took the challenge on and try to get as many as possible. All right, guys, we good? Yep. Awesome. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, guys. Thanksgiving. I appreciate you being here.